Hello and welcome back. My name is Erosium and this is another World of Warcraft video. Today guys we're going to be looking at Inscription and Alchemy once again. Uh, the first video if you haven't checked it out already, it's the Inscription and Alchemy from scratch video. I believe it's the last one that I posted so feel free to check that out before you check this one out. This is just a follow on from that. Um, okay so for this we're going to be looking at our Alchemy and Inscription trying to learn new recipes, trying to figure out new ways to make gold using these professions. Um, so going forward, I just want to let you know that I do my daily craft for Warlords of Draenor. So I get my Alchemist uh, Catalyst and I get my wall paint for inscription. Um, just bear in mind that every day I use my inscription to make something called, if we just go down here, we go down to Cards of Omens. Uh, I use this every single day and I make is nine so I, I make nine of these and that then I sell all of the cards of omens upon flipping them to a vendor and that gives me quite a lot of gold so on average each of these cards is worth I believe uh, 4.6 gold that's an average that's uh, gained over thousands of on thousands of cards so uh, if you haven't actually crafted cards of omens before it's worth bearing in mind that when you make a card of omen it crafts 10 cards then you right click cards to flip them and upon flipping them it gives you a chance of getting you know a very common card or a very rare card and the very common cards are like 50 copper it goes up in value and goes up in value and it goes all the way up to 3000 gold worth of card and i believe you you've got a really really low chance of getting that you know 3000 gold card now the more alts you are doing this daily craft on uh, the more chance you've got of obviously getting that 3000 gold um, card which is great so that's why i make um nine of these cards of omens which is technically 90 cards and you know i give myself a huge chance of earning gold like that if you want to increase the amount that you can craft per day go to your warlords of drenor garrison and uh and look at crafting there i'm going to show you that in just a minute uh, just so you guys can, uh, you know what? Let's show you right this second. Let's let's show you right this second. Um, Okie dokie. So I'm going to be showing you exactly what you need to do at your garrison in order to do more war paint per day and increase your potential to make parts of omens, which will give you a lot of gold over time. Now, don't come to me and say, "Oh, Rosium, is the this card has only given me copper or silver by quality?" No, don't come to me with that. Because you need to bear in mind that these cards of omens generate an average sell price of 4 gold, 60 silver when it's crafted over thousands and thousands of times. So if you're only doing, if you're taking a sample pool of 100 cards and you're expecting to get fantastic results, you're delusional. You need to bear in mind that these cards have to be crafted and crafted and crafted and sold each day. It's a consistent seller. And that way you get a huge amount of gold over time but if you're just doing it one time you can't just expect the best results you might get lucky you might get a 3000 gold card on your first go but you, you might not so you need to bear that in mind as well okay guys um so you need to so that's my alchemy one you need to have a profession building just here um i think mine's level three now and i highly suggest that you get admiral taylor as your follower it's quite easy to get um, I will be putting out a video on how to get Admiral Taylor as a, a follower in your garrison. Each day, you simply just need to give in some Cerulean pigment. It has to be each day. It depends what level this is. If it's the highest level and you've got your bank level 3 and you've got your inscription building in level 3 and you've got a trading post level 3 uh, and you've done everything like that, and you've got your follower you're basically guaranteeing that you can have way more work orders and if you can have way more work orders then you only need to fill it up every six days so you can log in each day grab your work orders do your daily craft and then go straight to the orphan house that's it uh, now i've already done mine today because i'm stupid and i forgot that i was recording this video um but i think we can make one more right now yeah we can let's make one more Okay. okay, so we've got 10 cards of omens here. I'll right click it. And you just have to flip these cards. See what you get. Now I actually learned this tip from someone else uh, called Drizzling Rose. Uh, she's a gold maker. 
and she's got a whole guide on on basically garrisons and warlords of Drenor. I'm going to be covering that in a video because uh, the guide isn't a video. The guide's like a, a document and it's really quite difficult to read through and understand. So I'm going to be covering that in a future video at some point uh, just because I think it's going to be a, a lot of value to you guys. Now going from there, uh, we've got this card which is worth 3 gold, 50 silver, 1 gold, 2 copper, uh, 10 gold and 50 silver. Now technically Data, Drizzling Rose has flipped 19,000 of these cards, uh, just the green ones because these are basically reflips, so you get a chance of reflipping it and seeing if you get a better card. Now she says over time this does increase your average spell rate because you're increasing the chance of getting a card worth like 100 gold or thousands of gold etc etc. Um, so you can reflip those but she says if you just stretch for time and you want to do, be as quick as possible just sell them. So mine are all automatically sold there and the reason they're automatically sold is I have an add-on called Scrap and what this add-on called Scrap does is it allows you to mark items in your uh, bags which you want to automatically sell the second you open a vendor and that will do everything and then it works out the exact amount that you made from that and puts it in your chat. So I made 15 gold from crafting 10 is okay um i have honestly made seven thousand gold in one go before just with my daily craft just doing that so it is kind of crazy what you can do it's inscription do it every single day so i've only got one draenor inscription at the seconds um secrets of draenor inscription so i can only buy one of like which one let's bind when equipped bind when equipped so they both sell let's just get this one and we can get the next one tomorrow etched blade Warcraft. it's got a really low sell rate so we're not going to bother making that that's fine but it's still worth getting it each day let's get this and see what if it if it is sellable that would be really good on the Oh, they're sellable. They are big time sellable. That's great. They, oh my gosh, they sell really well as well. So let's go to 20 gold cube. Oh no, what am I, 20 gold. And 20 of those. And it's saying that we need to buy some Crescent Saber Flash from the auction house. Let's go do that. Let's teleport back to Stormwind. Okay, so we've arrived back at the auction house and we're just going to scan, get this Crescent Saber Flesh. Uh, and then we're going to get these Transmorphic Tincture. Now these basically change your, your character's gender. Um, how long does it... For a short time, so it doesn't actually say how long it, it changes it for. But that, I guess, would be pretty funny that you can just change your, your character's gender. I guess people want to spend a lot of gold on doing kind of craziness like that. Who crafts three of them as well? My gosh. So we're going to get, what, 60 from this? That's going to be a nice seller, dude. That was so worth getting from the um, Renault. Wow. Alchemy. Crafted cell. Let's put that in. Added. Get that sold in a second. I'm assuming that we're going to sell, like, you know, probably a stack of those a day. Because it's got quite a high sell rate. More than 10% sell. If we're doing the undercut, then we'll sell quite a lot. I like having that in my face. All right, guys, so Crescent Oil, I sell 20 of that at a time, don't I? Rainic Agility Flask, I need to look at that. So some of this stuff here that when I craft, um, gosh, there's so much to go through when it comes to, to these professions. It's insane. It's like it's not enough time in a video to, to analyze like the market and work out what sells, what doesn't sell. Um, a lot of these items that you craft require a very specific craft price and 
it's very difficult to get it across in a video, but some of the materials required to craft it, and like, like Drainic Agility Flask, might not be as accurate as the auction like provides, because it only takes kind of a, an average um, from the auction house, and a lot of the time the average for me can be wrong because I'm on a super high pop realm. Now, in my auctions currently, with that we're twenty three thousand gold. Now that's obviously dependent on whether it sells or not. It will sell. Uh, these blue items that kind of give additional craft value, they have a slower sell rate, but they will sell eventually. So I'll just keep posting those. I'm not not a problem with that at all because I know the sell rate's okay. The rest of these kind of things, these are just daily sales that will just make up the gold here, there, and everywhere. All right. So let's look at inscription and just. Also, just going to look at it. I have been learning some new stuff uh, due to just general um, crafting and learning new things as I go. Glyph of Feral Chameleon. That's cool. Each time you shapeshift into a cat form, shapeshift of a random hair color. Oh, that's cool. I actually want that on my character. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, let's keep that. Now, we do have to bear in mind that this is a 0.05 cell rate. But also, we might be better off making these sallow pigments, applying it and the rosate pigments as well. It's just, this is what I mean when I'm saying you need a, a specific craft price, because each of these pigments, uh, it, it's very difficult, difficult for TSM to just work out the cost of those, because there's so many different herbs that can create these pigments. So the craft price of these can sometimes be off by quite a lot, because it's so difficult SM2 and basically work that out. You need to change that. You can basically go to crafting materials, type in the exact pigments. It, it comes up with loads of different pigments. And then you can just click these and change the actual value of them, which is, uh, which is good, but it's just very difficult. You have to do a lot of time researching specific strings, which I'm going to do and make it a bit easier for you guys by collating all that information together. All right, so let's go to crafting again. Um, we're going to create one glyph of feral chameleon. Uh, got an alright sell rate. Uh, Song of Alliance 0 0.01. No, thank you. Stay away from that. By the way, guys, if you have enjoyed this type of video series so far, you can just uh, let me know in the comment section below, and we'll see if we can create more videos like this for other professions as well. Um, especially, just I enjoy it, and that reminds me of something. I, I want to create a leveling challenge. Um, in World of Warcraft where people kind of level a brand new character from one all the way up but they let the professions guide their level by that I mean um, you aren't a level you have to level up your professions before you can level your character up and second you kind of hit max on each of your professions you're allowed to level up your character and you have to do that for every single one not just your main your all secondary professions. I think what that will encourage in the leveling challenge is people to spend more time actually learning about the game. And I think that's super cool and that's something that you know, people that really enjoy the storyline and everything like that might specifically enjoy that type of challenge. Really? Okay, so we need to buy some more stuff from the... Can all seeds. So a lot of the stuff here is going to cost us some serious gold. Um, but if we made it ourselves, it might cost less. So I'm just going to look into that really quickly to work out rough cost of, of each thing. I've got the mass mill. Um, I how to say that? Yzerelin. I, I I butchered that so hard. If I can't make it, there's no point looking at the cost of making it. I mean, we will be able to make it later on. Um, but we haven't kind of got to that stage in the learning of it. We aren't a maximum level with inscriptions, so that's got a little bit of crafting to do here. Oh, it's mass milling. <laughs> the hell. Okay, apart from that, everything else we uh, that's profitable, we've already made. So we're just going to quickly make these, and then we'll get those popped onto the auction house. As I, as I say, each day, as you buy more and more stuff, uh, you don't want to... Like get, I think the best way to say it is you want to keep up to date as to what is profitable and work out kind of what sells and what doesn't sell. So you might make something and it might say it's got a really good sell rate, but you need to look into it and just confirm that the sell rate is good. 
and cost to make it is also good because sometimes uh, TSM can be a bit skew whiff on that. Okay, let's run post. Okay, post in the Crescent Oil and post in the Granic Water Oceans. Quite a lot of profit on those. Posting for 25 gold and they cost 10 gold to make roughly. Pretty good. Okay, now for Draenic Agility Potions, I'm going to look into that. This is one that I want to look into because it seems a bit weird. Agility Potion. Is this the one? Here. Yeah. Oh. Got 20 of those in the auction house. Pretty fast. Ah, they're the ones in my back. So this is saying I should make a 25 gold profit on these. But I'm not for some. I want to know why. Why am I not making profit on these? Tell me now. Okay, so let's search this. On the auction house, they are going for... Agility flasks are going for four, 15 gold. 15 gold, basically. All right. And what is the cost of these? Starflower. Let's have a look at this. Four starflower. Our flowers sell. Well, we're gonna have to get the old calculator out here. Okay, one gold, fourteen silver times four gold, fifty-six. Okay. Now let's look at what else. Four fireweed. Four fireweed. A fireweed sells one gold twenty-five. Let's remember four gold fifty-six. Four gold fifty-six. One gold twenty-five times four. Obviously, it's five. I'm stupid. Plus four gold, 50, nine gold, fifty-six. Then it requires a crystal vial. Okay, the vials cost exactly how much they cost. Fine, group. Like eight copper. Right. Something missing here. Nine gold, fifty-six. So I'm making about a five gold, fifty from each of these. So why is that not selling? Oh, is it because someone's posted this? Someone's posted a Drainic mask for like 500,000 gold. And is that making it seem like that? Are they trying to bump up the average? So as to bypass this, because it's a bit of a stupid thing that TSM just does sometimes for some items it just works out a wrong crafting cost so for example it's saying the star flower is costing nine gold 90 four of them which we know is absolutely bollocks it costs us about four gold 50 to get four star flowers we're going to remove the agility flask from there and we're going to put it in a new group called just post and i do this for items that i know i'm, I'm making a profit on anyway and i'm not too worried about you know the cost that TSM says it costs to, to craft because it's it's bollocks. So, uh, where is the flask here? Agility flask, add to that group. And for this group, we've just got a just post, which I, I believe this is just literally very basic 1.5 vendor cell. This is just, just to ensure that we get an undercut for this. We go back and we try run the post scan. It actually works out four gold, uh, 14 gold, 99 silver. And we already know that we're making about a five gold profit each on, on these. And times that by 20, you look at 100 profit. Pretty good. I'm going to post those. All right. Now let's get the glyphs. That was kind of annoying. I really hate it when TSM kind of breaks like that and doesn't work as it is. And I find that happens to me a lot because I'm on a server that is so high pop that the prices of things are very broken. And it takes like values from other servers and to put it on on mine it just doesn't work but that brings our total value of our auctions just under twenty five thousand gold which is pretty good i'm just going to run a quick cancel scan because you know during the time that we did this I might have just quickly undercut myself in some way or somehow which is a good idea it's only 17 things to cancel scan for uh, typically I don't do any cancel scans, I just post things for 12 hours, I do one posting in the morning and one posting at night, then I, I just actually go to sleep and the next day I kind of do the same thing again. The main way I make my gold is actually my garrisons because I'm across uh, 9 characters now. 
and uh, I'm just trying my hardest to, to increase the amount of characters that I can do my garrisons on because I know that uh, from just IRL business um, repeat, uh, repeatable income that's easy to make is the best time you know if you have a job that requires huge amounts of effort but eventually you get quite a big reward from it that's great but um, you don't always get the reward and sometimes that can be a bit difficult to get um, I like the things where you get kind of a decent amount of gold but very little effort and that's kind of like what I go for in this game as well if we cancel these so I try and do like the minimum amount I can on the auction house give myself time because I don't like to sit here all day and mess about with the auction house so I, I like to play the game and enjoy myself as well Okay, now someone will be sad enough to come on in like 30 minutes and do another cancel scan and probably undercut me again. But that's just the nature of things. You can spend all day doing cancel scans and reposts and cancel scans and reposts. But we're not going to do that. Okay, guys. So um, what are two professions that you guys would like to see in some like future videos that we start from scratch? and We learn how to like start making gold with them. I'd love to hear your thoughts on that. Um, if you could just let me know and I will see you in a future video. If you enjoyed this, make sure you hit that like button, you click subscribe, you do, you do a little dance and you get down tonight. <laughs> see you later guys, this is Rosium.